Hi, this is Judy from the Huron County Community Library, and today we're going to make chocolate bombs. And if you don't know what a chocolate bomb is, it's a round circle of chocolate, and it's filled with hot chocolate mix and marshmallows, so when you put it into your cup and pour hot milk, hot milk over it, it explodes like a bomb. But before we start on the hot chocolate bombs, I want to tell you a little bit about Milton Hershey, the most famous chocolate maker in the world. A few years ago, I was lucky enough to go to Hershey, Pennsylvania, and we took a trolley tour and learned all about Milton Hershey, and he was very inspiring, and I'd like to share that story with you. So Milton was born in 1857 in Pennsylvania, and his parents were Mennonite. And at age 13, he left school and went to work for uh, a candy maker. So he was the apprentice to a candy maker that made caramels, and he decided that he loved making candy. So when he turned 18, he decided he wanted to go to Philadelphia and open his own candy shop, with $150 from his aunt. Well, that business failed. No matter how hard he worked, he just really couldn't make enough money. So then he moved to Denver, and he worked with a candy maker in Denver that used fresh milk to make caramels. So then he decided, well, he wanted to go on his own again and try his hand at his own candy shop, and he moved to Chicago. Well, that didn't last very long. After three months, he failed in Chicago. So from Chicago, he moved to New York. And he worked with a very famous candy maker in New York. And on the side, he made taffy out of his home and sold it in a push cart on the streets of New York. But that business also failed. So then he decided to go back home to Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And he decided to open his own caramel shop using fresh milk. And the very candy maker that he apprenticed with when he was 16 helped him get started again. So he sold those caramels out of a push cart in Lancaster, and pretty soon someone from England decided those were really good caramels, and he started buying them to import to England. And it wasn't very long before people all over the world were eating Milton Hershey's caramels. So he didn't actually start making chocolate. He started making caramels with fresh milk. In 1900, he decided to sell the business and concentrate on chocolate. In 1900, he sold his caramel business for $1 million. Imagine how much that would be worth today. So he then proceeded to concentrate on making caramels. And in 1894 is when he first created the famous Hershey Milk Chocolate Bar. He was the first person in the United States to make milk chocolate. And his secret was he used fresh milk. And that's what made his candy bar so good. He sold it for five cents because he mass produced his candy bars. In 1907, Hershey himself created the Hershey Kiss. That was his idea. And he built his chocolate factory in what is now called Hershey, Pennsylvania. But he didn't just build a factory. He built a community for his workers. He built houses. He built churches. He built banks, a post office. And so his workers had a whole community provided by Milton Hershey. And then the Great Depression came along. But not one person in Hershey, Pennsylvania went without a job because Milton Hershey started a construction project, and he built a community center, and he built a hotel, and he built schools so that all the people had jobs during the Great Depression. But the greatest legacy of Milton Hershey was the school he started for orphan children, which was actually his wife's Catherine's idea. They couldn't have children of their own, so she thought, let's start an orphanage in a school for children that need families. So there are about 2,000 children in that school that still operates today. In 1918, Mr. Hershey gave most of his fortune to the school. When he died in 1945, he left the Hershey business in a trust fund for the school. At that point, it was worth $60 million. The Hershey company is now worth $12 billion, and that money is still in a trust for the school. So Hershey placed the quality of his product, product and the happiness of his workers over profit. So I thought that was a very inspiring story. And one fact that I found really interesting is Mr. Hershey and his wife had tickets on the Titanic. And a business meeting came up at the last minute and they did not sail on the Titanic. So I hope you're inspired by that. I also want to recommend a book. It's called Semi-Sweet by John O'Brien. He was actually in the Hershey Orphanage from the time he was three years old until he was 18 and graduated, and he later went on to become president of the Hershey School. So that's also a very inspiring story. 
Okay, let's get on with our chocolate bombs. So the ingredients in our chocolate bombs are chocolate melting wafers, some hot cocoa mix, some mini marshmallows, and you're going to need some silicone molds. This is the only thing I found that makes it easy to get the chocolate out of the mold. So we're going to start by melting our wafers, and I already have some melted on the stove back here. You can melt them easily in the microwave, but I wanted to keep it melted while I was talking, so I melted mine in a double boiler. So we're going to take one of our molds. We've cut ours into thirds because that's how we handed them out with our craft kits. And I'm going to put a spoonful of chocolate in the mold. And then I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to spread it up to the sides of my mold. And I want to go make sure it goes right to the very top. And you want to make sure your chocolate is covering every bit of the mold. You don't want any thin spots or any holes in it. So I'm going to do both sides. And after I do this, I'm going to put it in the freezer. I want it to set up pretty fast. So you can see I have coated my mold with chocolate. And when you're working with melted chocolate, you do not want to get water in your melted chocolate. That will cause it to become all clumpy and it will be really impossible to use then. So I'm going to put this in the freezer. And if you have this, we cut these apart to give them out in our kits. If you're having trouble with it setting level, you can put it in a muffin pan. So I am going to pop that in the freezer and get out the one that I already froze. And I'm going to peel this out of the mold very carefully. And these, these melting wafers work so nicely for this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm a plate in my microwave, or you can run it under hot water to warm it up. But just make sure you dry the plate off, because I want to smooth off the edges of my little mold here, make it all smooth. So I have a plate here. So I'm just going to rub it like that and that will smooth off the edges. And I'm going to put my hot chocolate mix, spoon it right in there, do that again. Put that plate back in the microwave for me please. And I want to fill that up with the hot chocolate mix. Add a few marshmallows or, you know, if you like crushed peppermint or whatever you like in your hot chocolate. And then I'm going to smooth off the edge of my other. Now I see I have a little hole here in my mold, so I'm going to add a little more chocolate in there. And smooth that out. Okay, then I'm going to smooth out the edge of that, and I'm going to add that to that, my bottom, and then I want to take a spoon, and I want to get it warm, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it in my hot water over here, because that's what I'm going to use after I dry it off, remember no, no water in your chocolate, and I'm going to smooth that seam off with that warm spoon. It just melts the chocolate enough. Oops, I got a little hole there. So I would take some chocolate here, add that to it to cover up my hole. Okay, so I've got a couple here, and I want to show you how it works with my warm milk over here. So you want to put your hot chocolate bomb in your cup first. Now you could decorate it with some swirls of white chocolate or however you want to decorate it. So I'm going to pour my, put my hot chocolate bomb in the bottom of my mug and then I'm going to pour my warm milk over that. And my hot chocolate bomb is going to start to dissolve and explode and then I'm going to stir it up 
into my mug. Now my milk could have been a little warmer and that would have happened a little faster. So there we have it, hot chocolate bombs. Hope you try it and hope you were inspired by Milton Hershey's story and hope you get to visit there someday. Thanks, we'll see you soon.